Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build your first WordPress website, how to get it launched, how to create your hosting account, and also how to import a theme to start building your website right away. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is head over to rootpal.com and we're going to sign up for the free trial hosting. So if you go to WordPress hosting right here, and you scroll down, you can actually test RootPal's Word, WordPress hosting for free. And all you have to do is enter your information, your email, your company or organization if you have one, and your role, and any other additional information. Once you're done, you just click submit. And there we go. So now you should check your email account because an email will go automatically go to whatever email you put right here. We'll check our email account and we have an email from RootPal. And there we go. There's our RootPal email address or uh, information. So now we got an email with a link to click to sign up to test our WordPress hosting trial account. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember, this account will auto terminate after seven days if you do not pay to have this hosting account um, paid for or if you don't sign up for one of the hosting plans right here. So make sure you don't let your, uh, your data terminate and you do get it in production and paid. So let's go ahead and just set up our account though. So we're gonna click order now. And we're either gonna register a new domain, transfer your domain from another registrar, or use an existing domain and update the name servers. So if you're brand new and you don't want to buy a domain name, or you do and you're ready to buy a domain name, you can search for a new domain right here, or you can use an existing domain and let's say I have a, do a domain at GoDaddy. I'd type it in right here. Oops, sorry. And then put the .com or the .net or whatever domain it is. You click use. And then you could select which data center you're going to um, have your WordPress hosting with. But let's go back. And a tool I like to use is instant domain search. This is my favorite um, tool. It's called instantdomainsearch.com. And what this does is it can look for domain names instantly. So all you have to do, let's say we want to build a law um, website, something about law. So we type in myquicklaw.com. And there you go. Myquicklaw.com is available. So we can go ahead and purchase that at GoDaddy, or you can purchase it at RootPal, which will be a little bit cheaper than GoDaddy's um, annual re renew fee. Uh, so we do have cheaper domain names there. Um, if you want other, you know, let's say you want something that's a quick law, that's obviously taken. You can click the generator right here and load more and see a bunch of different options for quicklaw.com. So the quicklaw.com, quicklawonline.com. It's a great tool just to pick out a domain name. But let's say you don't want to pick up a, a domain name yet and you wanna use a temporary domain name. This is a cool feature that RuPal offers on all its web hosting. So for the time being, what you need to do is you, you, you're gonna select, I will use my existing domain and update my name servers. Then we're gonna put in any domain we want. It doesn't matter. So let's just choose uh, myquicklaw.com. Oops, sorry. We don't own this domain, it's fine. You can just click use, we can update this later. And I want it to be out of the West Coast because that's the quickest location because I'm in the West Coast. So I'm gonna click continue. And then I am going to sign in, which I'm gonna create a new account, put in for my, my information and attach my PayPal or credit card. Um, you could just, 
leave that all blank if you want since it's zero dollars i already have an account so i'm just going to check out My order was successfully placed. So now I'm gonna check my email account and I should get some emails coming in in the next five to 10 minutes about my hosting account information so I could start building my website. So my email came in pretty quick. It came in within about 30 seconds to my email. Sometimes you would like, you should check out your spam folder because um, be, it could be in there, but most likely it's not. It'll be in your inbox and it'll say new hosting account information. So now if we scroll down, we'll read some of the information. Uh, here are our login details with our username and password and our the link to our control panel and the little video that leads to the RootPal uh, YouTube channel, which has a bunch of different videos on how to set up and get your hosting account ready. But here's our information. We have the server name and server IP. However, we don't really need all of this right now because we can head back to our control panel on the RootPal portal and we'll go to our trial account, which is right here, WordPress Hosting Trial Startup. And now that we're here, we can actually just click log into the Plus Control Panel and it'll auto log us in to the Plus Control Panel. And here we're logged into our website, our, our control panel, sorry. And we can see the myquicklaw.com website. However, I don't own this domain. I didn't buy this domain yet and I have never purchased it or done anything. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a WordPress website on a temporary domain name, which is a cool feature that Plesk has and RootPal offers. So go ahead and click add domain, select temporary domain name, leave the web space under my quick law, since it'll be under that domain as your main, your main domain name is going to be my quick law Com. That's your main hosting account domain name. However, you can add other domain names and other websites onto your control panel. So don't worry about this. Just leave it as whatever your whatever it is. So we're just going to click add domain and it's going to be this temporary domain name. That's going to be our website that we're going to be developing on. And so what's going to happen is it's going to create this website using this temporary domain name. And it's going to be automatically secured with SSL. And now we can go into install WordPress and we can install our WordPress website. So make sure that it's the temporary domain name. You can give your website title uh, a name. You can, I'm just gonna leave it as praise the sun or Michael's, let's just do Michael's website. Oops, I hit enter. Oh, well, we could change that later. Um, actually, Yeah, so I accidentally hit enter, uh, which is okay, but I'll go back to that screen, which is right here. So you select this and you give your website title a name. You could select a plugin or theme, and you can also select the version, version which I'm going to select the current one, and you give it a username and password. I don't care about this information because you're going to be able to auto log into your WordPress website, and you can always change this information later. Um, don't worry about this as well. We don't want to change anything on the database or we don't want to automate our WordPress updates automatically. Um, but it is automatically updating some of the minor and major updates that need to be pushed out. So that's good to know. We're going to click cancel. And I did click <laughs> accidentally hit enter, but that installed the WordPress website. If you want to change the password, you just click setup. And now we can view the current password, see the current username, and we can enter a new password right here, click change, and it'll update the password. So that's cool. Um, but we're just gonna log into our WordPress website by clicking that login button right there. And that'll log us in. So sometimes this happens where if you install WordPress, it's not gonna show up because the DNS hasn't updated on the server. So we can actually, you'll have, sometimes you might have to create a ticket for an engineer to do something. 
Um, but let's see if we could just go to PHP settings, click apply, click OK. And let's see if that updated the website. OK, no. So sometimes if this happens, typically it doesn't happen, but you'll have to wait to you have to create a ticket for RootPal to um, automatically restart Apache uh, because sometimes the DNS doesn't update and this this default web page won't go away. So this shouldn't be an issue moving forward once we fix it, but um, just create a ticket if you do have this issue after installing WordPress, it's not updating on your temporary domain name. There we go. See, so it updated eventually. Um, and if it doesn't update, then create a, web, a support ticket. And you do have full access to support when you're on that trial account. So now that we have our WordPress website uh, live and ready, we can log in. So we'll go back to the WordPress toolkit. We're going to click login. And there we go. We're automatically logged in. And now we can start installing themes and plugins, but I'm not going to be doing it from this panel. I'm actually going to go do it from the WordPress toolkit panel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click themes. I'm going to click install and I'm going to select a really like, here's some great themes that you can install um, for free and import a website for free without being a web developer. So let's see, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, let's go with Hestia and I'm just going to click install right here. These top themes are pretty good um, because they have a lot of demo content data. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Now that I clicked it, uh, I installed it, you'll see that it shows up here. We're gonna click activate right here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna activate the theme. And now we can go back to our WordPress website and see it's active. So now let's go back to the dashboard. The theme is now active. So we're gonna go to Hestia options. And we're gonna perform the recommended actions. We're gonna click install and activate. And we're going to go to the template directory, click install and activate. Install and activate again. And everything's loading very, very quickly because Rupal does use NVMe SSD and the newest CPU and uh, newest CPU hard, um, hardware on all our servers now. So we've upgraded everything to be super fast and super quick. So that's why it's super, um, the WordPress websites are loading very quick. But now we can see all these little, you know, cool templates that we have. Um, and this is just one example. There's a bunch of different themes. You can go to theme forest, you know, and find a bunch of different themes and WordPress websites to build your WordPress website. So if you go here, you can go to popular items, you can go and select, you know, technology, wedding, whatever. But this is a different video. I'm going to create a different video on how to install um, a WordPress website uh, or how to build a WordPress website from a theme on theme forest. I'll create another video on that. But for now, we're just using the free, the free themes and you can always upgrade and you know pay for 
maybe the Elementor, which I, I really like Elementor. It's one of my favorite um, front end building plugins for WordPress, uh, but they're all premium. So we're just going to use the Gutenberg um, theme builder. And now we can pick out a website. We're just building a quick website. It's our first website. We've never built a WordPress website before. Um, and let's say, you know, we want to build, uh, let's see, let's go to the free section. So it's a little bit easier to see. And now we can see, okay, we have jewelry shop. We have a coffee shop, a restaurant shop, um, freelance designer. So we are, you know, we are a freelance designer wedding. You can build your wedding website. Um, just a bunch of great looking themes to, to get started. But let's say we're a business consultant and we want to get that going. So what we're going to do is import this business consulting theme. And I'm just going to click import. And I'm going to leave all this checked. Uh, and if it's going to say contact forms, yeah, we want by WP forms. Okay. So this is a plugin that needs to be installed to make the contact form work, which I think WP forms is another plugin that might require, um, paint, you know, paying for it, but it is free, but it might require you paying for other features. And I do want that installed. So I'm going to leave that checked and then I'm going to click import entire site. And what's going to happen now is it's going to import everything and install everything that I need to build my WordPress website. So it's going to install the plugins, install the import, the content, import the customizer settings and import the widgets. So after this is done, it's going to build my website with all this demo data, which is very useful for building a website very quickly. You can get websites up very quick and you can change it, the content on it to whatever you like. So now it's all done. We're going to click view website and there we go. Look how quick that was. So there's Michael's, you know, uh, with the dash cause I hit enter accidentally, but if we went to dashboard and we go to settings and we go to general, oops, hit it again. So Michael's consulting business, click save changes, go back to my website and there you go. Look, so now we have, you know, all this data, it's all ready. We have a website pre-built. You can go to the about, uh, about page, um, and you can change all this data and look at that. We built a website in around 20 minutes and so that's basically how you build your first WordPress website, whether whatever it is and how to get started. Um, I don't have enough time to teach you about plugins and making your website better, but um, we will be uploading more videos on how to, you know, build forms and SEO and a lot of other things. But that's basically how you can get your WordPress website up and about without buying a domain name without purchasing hosting all through RootPal. And RootPal does provide support and help with any type of WordPress issues if you purchase WordPress hosting. We'll do our best to make sure you're provided with the best WordPress support you can have. Um, so let's say you wanna make this website live. I'm gonna create another video on how to change a temporary domain name to a live domain name. And you would do that, and I'm going to show you just I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm not going to do it live. But I will create another video on how to do it. You'd go here, and you would go um, update site URL right here. So you would need to change the domain name and then update the site URL. So to do that, you go to websites and domains. You click change domain name. So we'd type in the new domain name after changing the DNS and stuff like that. So we'd change it to, you know, uh, consultingbusiness.com or whatever, right? You click change, then you go to WordPress and then we would update the site URL. I'm not gonna do this right now. I'll have to create another video on how to do that. And I'll create be creating more videos on installing plugins and some, some of the best plugins, themes and other things as well. But there we go, we got a website built and under 25 minutes, 20 minutes. So 
that's how you do it and stay tuned for more. So I hope you liked the video. Sign up at RootPal and hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.